All right, everyone, how's it going? New Age here, your coach of the Allo Valley Agrons, and we are getting ready for week eight, I believe. It, I don't know why it gets harder to keep track the further it gets, but I'm pretty sure this is week eight, and we are going up against the Green Bay Pikachus. Uh, before I get started, all their info is going to be down in the description, Twitter, and YouTube channel, all that good stuff. Um, also, I want to say, I haven't made a team builder uh, for the past... Uh, two weeks, I'm pretty sure. Um, I was gonna put out one for week six, I believe it was. I was gonna do that one after the video, but I don't know. I just things have been really like last minute with the past few battles I've been doing, just because I've been busy or the other person's been busy, and the battles get pushed back to like la like recording them last minute, basically. Um, so I don't want to put out. I don't have a chance to put out a team builder because it's basically like right when we do the battle, I edit it and put it up on the channel. Um, but this week, I actually have time to do the battle, and we're doing the battle at a decent time during the week, so I'll be able to give this to you guys, so I'm excited for that. So anyways, anyways, let's go over uh, what they are bringing first. Uh, he's got Latius, Milotic, uh, Amoongus, Darmanitan, Diancy, Regular Rodham, Crustle, Bisharp, Mamoswine, Terrakion, and Mega Pidgeot. Um, so, our lineup is right here pretty much. Uh, I don't think I'll get too in depth with the calcs and stuff because not many of the things I've calced are like too crazy. Um, I've mostly calced my own offensive hits towards things. I haven't calced so much how well we can take certain moves. Um, just because some Pokemon, I don't know, like I really don't know what he's going to bring because he has a lot of stuff that can be troublesome, but I don't think he's going to bring like everything. Uh, but I'll just talk about what I do know, go over our sets, why I chose him and all that stuff. So first off, we're bringing my man Kree Lunas, uh, the Choice Scarf Kyrian Black. Uh, yeah, I've been showing with the Choice Scarf set. The one week I didn't bring it and it would have been really nice and it ended up costing us a game so that was really unfortunate um also i do want to say i'm excited for this week's battle uh just because i think i still have a chance to get into the playoffs if everything goes good for me and like bad for everyone else <laughs> so we'll see what happens there but anyways anyways so naive choice scarf max speed max special attack i had to put max speed just because um i'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure uh, Darmanitan has the same speed as me, yes? Yeah, Darmanitan has the same speed as me. Um, and Scarf Darmanitan is a thing, so I had to make it max speed uh, just so that way I could at least speed tie. Um, I'm pretty sure it can't one-shot me with anything. I think even Superpower can't one-shot me. I'm pretty sure, at least not from full. I might be wrong about that. I know I can take a Flare Blitz at least. Um, but yeah, I decided to go uh, naive over hasty just for that reason, um, because being able to take superpower and stuff like that, and uh, the only like the only physical attackers he has, well, he has like physical attackers where it would matter, like Stone Edge from Terrakion. I'm pretty sure I can live that. Um, not a close combat. Um, but like his special attackers, that's why I didn't mind my special defense going down. Because uh, Latios just straight up kills me with Draco Meteor no matter what. Uh, Milotic won't one-shot me. Amoongus, like his special attackers are not extremely powerful. Pidgeot only gets like Hurricane really to hit me with. So I could take all those. So I didn't mind my special defense going down. Um, I went with Ice Beam just because that... Uh, I, I really like the coverage we have for this week. I wanted to put on Outrage just because it for sure one shots Latius and then it also hits uh, Milotic just as hard. Basically nothing on the team wants to switch into an Outrage except Diancy. So I kind of chose against it. Um, again, like Kyrim gets really good coverage. Ice Beam hits Latius, Amoongus, uh, Rodham. Basically anything that doesn't resist it gets to it KO'd. Uh, Pidgeot. I'm pretty sure it just gets one shot, um, and then Crustle doesn't even take Ice Beam well. And then we have Fusion Bolt for things like Milotic, um, also Pidgeot, um, and then Earth Power for like Bisharp, 
to Rakion. It also hits Rodom because of the uh, Terrible and the Ancy, but that's what we have Iron Head for. Um, Iron Head I like because it lets me hit on the physical side for Latius and potentially like flinch it to death. Uh, it also gives me something to hit the Ancy, something to hit Mammal Swine, something to hit Terrakion. Uh, it's, it's a similar Ice Beam scenario where if you don't resist it, you're going to take a lot of damage from it. So, I mean, damn, Kyrie, it's just, it's just great every week to bring. <laughs> um, so for Trevenant, my man, Hashirama. We're bringing, I don't have any other names here, but, you know, whatever. I won't go through and do that now. That'd be bad on my part. Um, I really like this set. I honestly like the Lumberry set more with Rest, just because it gives me a good status absorber. But, um, I, I don't know. This one proves to be more useful competitively. Uh, so we're going the Citrus Berry Harvest, Max Special Defense. Um, basically, Max Special Defense just so I can kind of uh, fight Amoongus better uh, so I could take sludge bombs better and stuff like that uh, obviously this would be my switch in because of uh, because of Spore it can't put me to sleep but then he could easily run sludge bomb or HP fire so I do have things like Willow and Shadow Claw to hit it um, I think I could 1v1 it just because of the Citrus Berry um, that will let me recover a lot of HP also I could just freely get behind subs um, Trevenant can't take a Flare Blade, so, you know, I'm not leaving it in on things like that. Um, this does let me take on my Lodic better with Ice Beams and stuff like that. Um, I'm pretty sure I could definitely wear down my Lodic. Uh, something to keep in mind, I'm pretty sure my Lodic is faster than me. So I can't, I can try to sub on it, yeah. But not, like, I don't know, it depends on what he wants to go for. Um, so yeah. Sub is really nice for, um, damn it. There you go. Um, what is sub nice for? I don't even remember. I mean, just the sub is good in general for getting behind things and being able to take a hit afterwards, especially because Trevenant is such a Wally Pokemon. <laughs> a Wally Pokemon. Uh, that, you know, you want to switch out most of the time against it. So you can't. Uh, that'll give me a turn to get up that sub. Uh, so that's something I'm going to take advantage of. And then Shadow Claw is uh, for things like Latias, just because it dropping like Draco Meteors all over the place is going to suck for me. Uh, also, that gives me something to hit Rodham. Um, with the specially defensive side, I could take Shadow Balls from Rodham pretty well. Uh, it gives me a fighting switch in to Terrakion, which Terrakion can't really touch me. Uh, at least not with close combat. It has Earthquake and Stone Edge, obviously, but then I get a chance to burn it as well. Um, granted, it could have SD and stuff like that, but those were all like scenarios. Um, and just being able to burn things is really nice. Um, you know, Crustal, things that I think I could get a chance to burn. Um, maybe even wearing down DNC. Uh, so Trevenant I thought was going to be really nice for this game. Uh, mainly so for the fighting resist and being able to take on Latios. Or Latias. Because I don't have a huge amount of Pokemon that could take on Latias. Kyrium definitely could but the amount of damage it could possibly take in return is not really worth it all right so next up we got my man mule kick raw uh <laughs> rodham ride on wow i can't even like click out of this thing there we go move this over um i mainly just wanted to switch in for like his strong physical attackers um also stealth rock i wanted this one to be my rocker because i put spikes on my ferrothorn um so yeah right on i want i wanted it to be able to take like superpower and things like that also like i just chose like some of the strongest moves i could uh stone edge hits like mammal swine rodham uh darmanitan i guess uh stone edge i think is mainly for uh Latius. um it also is nice for Pidgeot since it has no guard, so I won't miss Stone Edge against that thing. I can just go for it and it'll die. Um, and then Earthquake for things like Darmantan as well, Bisharp, Crustal. Uh, I'm pretty sure Earthquake one-shots Crustal, if I'm not mistaken, which is kind of hilarious. Um, I went for Hammer Arm over uh, Super Power. Uh, Super Power does more damage, but I don't want the defense drop since it's supposed to be my wall. Um, but neither one of them, Hammer Arm or Superpower, could one-shot Mammoth Swine, so that kind of sucks. Um, 
but we can take a hit from Mammoth Swine. But if if he leads with that, like I'm just going Ferrothorn. I'm not gonna let Rhydon get worn down, especially because my team is kind of weak to Darmantan. It's not that it's that it's necessarily weak to Darmantan. It's just Darmantan hits so hard. Like I can only switch Pokemon into it so many times. Um, all right, so next up we got my man Double Tap Ferrothorn with the uh, leftovers. Uh, this set I thought was gonna be kind of fun. I decided not to bring Leech Seed just because like. He has a Moongiz, and um, I don't know. There's not too many things I could stall if you look at it. Um, there's basically like Latias who could have HP Fire. Um, so I'm not just going to sit there and stall that out. Like it's going to hit me too hard. I could stall my Lodic. That's probably one of the few Pokemon I could stall out, but I'm not doing it just for one. Um, I can't leave Seed of Moongiz. I can't stay in under Manitan. Um, Deancey, I guess I could get HP off of, but I'd rather just Gyro Ball, especially if it's like a dual screens or Trick Room or some kind of shenanigans, like I'd rather just get rid of it, uh, or at least weaken it while I can. Uh, Rodham, I'd preferably not want to stay in against it, but I could. Um, I can't do much to it, that's why I wouldn't. Uh, so I have like Gyro Ball, Knock Off. Uh, Mega Pidgeot just dies to Gyro Ball, that's hilarious. I'd have to catch it on like a Switch or something though. Um, I am max special defense. I don't remember if uh, Ferrothorn can live that or not. Let me see. Um, with max special defense, I don't know. Probably not, to be honest. But let's find out. Ferrothorn! I don't know. That's physically defensive. Let's see. There we go. Alright, so Ferrothorn versus... Wow, I wish I could not put this on the screen. Screw it, let's do it. Mega Pidgeot. Heat Wave, we actually live one. Let's put it at level 50 like it's supposed to be though. Yeah, we actually live a Heat Wave, so that's pretty interesting. And Gyro Ball doesn't kill it, so that's kind of sad. But that's okay. We do so much damage to it. I mean, like I said, it's not a Pokemon I'm trying to 1v1, so that's not really an issue. Um, Terrakion. <laughs> let's, let's find out more. I wish, like, when I build the teams, I save the calcs and stuff. Alright, yeah, we don't live a close combat. Oh my gosh, but Gyro Ball destroys this thing. Um, so, you know, that's good to know. Uh, Mamoswine, the same thing. By Sharp, paralyzing it would be nice. Um, that's mainly, well, it's not mainly why I have Thunder Wave. Uh, Thunder Wave is more so to catch Pokemon on the Switch, so if he wants to try and go Darmanitan, I can punish that by paralyzing it. A lot of his team is susceptible to Paralysis, uh, Bar, Rodham, and Mamoswine. Other than that, I'd love to paralyze anything on his team. Um, Darmanitan especially, uh, Bi Sharp, even Mega Pidgeot would be cool. Um, Terrakion and Crustle as well. Um, and then knock off obviously to get rid of items, so maybe like a Sheer Force, Life Orb, Darmantan. Um, go for knock off, it loses its Life Orb, now it's hitting way less harder. Uh, knock off leftovers on a Moongus or, um, or Milotic. Um, you know, Life Orbs. Um, it's mainly so Life Orbs on his stuff. Maybe like White Herb if he decides to bring Shell Smash Crustal. Or like Focus Sash on uh, By Sharp, things like that. Um, but then also I wanted to put up spikes on, on his team just because like with spikes, um, and stealth rock, we do a lot of damage to his team. Uh, that helps Kyrium one shot a lot of his team. Earth power has like, does like 80 some to like 98.9%, something crazy like that. So basically getting those up ensures that we can take them out. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so more so utility than stall for this, uh, for Ferrothorn. Um, that's more of what Trevenant is for, for the stall side. So let's move on to Mule Kick, or not Mule Kick, ha! Huh. Dr. Flopper Slowbro up in here. Um, oh crap, I need to reply this message, hold up. Um, alright. So, I wanted to do like a max, I couldn't decide between specially defensive and physically defensive. So I went max uh, defense on the EVs and then threw an assault vest on it to kind of get best of both worlds thing going on. Um, it helps me take decent hits from like 
Amoongus and Latius and stuff like that. While I'm pretty sure I can still live a knockoff from Bisharp. Um, so the moveset here is pretty obvious stuff. Uh, basically, I just wanted to be able to like catch Pokemon on the Switch. Um, so Ice Beam and Scald were obviously like the ones that hit his team. Uh, Latius Scald, or Latius and Amoongus are Ice Beam. The Mantan, Deancey gets Scald. Uh, Mamoswine, Terrakion, Crustle. A lot of his stuff is hit by Scald, so it's pretty chill. Um, Shadow Ball, that also hits Latius if I want to go for that. Um, and that hits Rotom as well because I figured Rotom would be a switch and it does a decent amount to Rotom, I think almost half. Uh, so that's really cool. And then um, Focus Blast obviously for Bisharp. Uh, we could use it on like Mamoswine or Terrakion too if I wanted, but I mean I have Scald so I'd rather not risk missing. Um, and then we can also hit Pidgeot pretty hard. Uh, we can hit Pidgeot with the Focus Blast too if we wanted to do something crazy like that. Uh, so yeah, Slowbro, a pretty fun set. I've enjoyed the idea, um, cause like before this league, I would always use like, slack off Slowbro, but with how much you switch in leagues, I really like the regenerator thing. It's like, I don't have to run slack off. I can run an assault vest set while still getting recovery because I'm switching out. So it's been, it's been really cool to use these like, non slack off sets because it gives Slowbro like so much more that it can do. Uh, so last we got Manetric. <laughs> the set is a little interesting, uh, just because there's something that I've never actually tried to do. I always think about it during team building, but it's never in my head during the battle. And that is switching Manetric into a potential electric move before I Mega Evolve. Uh, he has a Rodom on his team. I honestly don't even think he's going to bring a Rodom, but if he does, we can save Manetric, chilling in the back, wait for him to go for a Volt Switch, throw out Manetric, and get a nice plus one going. Um, so our moveset, well, I wanna talk about my Eevees first. Um, it's pretty simple actually. I just want enough Eevees to outspeed Mega Pidgeot. I don't want it to be a thing where in the end, it comes down to Manetric and Pidgeot, and I can easily one-shot it, but he ends up outspeeding me and I die and lose. Um, so I didn't want to have to take any excess damage from Mega Pidgeot. So that's what the IVs are for, or the EVs are for. We also outspeed it before it Mega Evolves, so we will always outspeed with Manetric on the Pidgeot, and it just dies to like Volt Switch, so we're chilling right there. Um, obviously I had to bring this for Milotic as well, you know, Thunderbolt and all that stuff. Flamethrower hits Amoongus. Um, Otherwise, Thunderbolt hits things relatively well. The only Pokemon I was really concerned about that I didn't have coverage for, um, there's Mamoswine, and then um, there's Deancey. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what the HP still comes in handy for. Um, I don't know why I wanted Manetric to have this role, um, but I figured... Uh, He'd probably want to, like I said, I'm really trying to like think about what my opponent would want to switch into on these Pokemon. So, say, you know, I haven't established I have HP Steel yet. He switches Mamoswine in, I catch him with the HP Steel. That's some nice damage right there. Um, even though I don't know if that's resisted. I did all these calcs beforehand, but now I need a refresher. Let's check it out. Um, but yeah, the thing about the plus one, if we can get that going, like, oh wow, this isn't, um, if we could get that going, we do, like, insane damage. What do you mean no move? It's flamethrower, yo. Whatever. Um, so let's see. Actually, well yeah, here's the Terrakion right there, so HP Steel. I mean, that's pretty awesome. Um, Thunderbolt does more, but whatever. And another thing to note, too, um, when I had my battle with Jerry, um, I need to take more advantage of getting damage off where I can. Uh, and I really learned that from that battle, being able to just bolt switch around everything and, like, switch into Pokemon. Uh, it was definitely, like, really helpful. Uh, so I'm gonna try and keep that in mind as well, just switching in more. To Manetric just to get off that Volt Switch damage. I'm definitely going to go for that. Um, 
But yeah, like, say we were at plus one, like, oh my gosh, so much damage. And then, like, if we had one layer of spikes, we can almost one-shot it. Two layers. Oh my gosh. It's not dead. It needs to die. So three layers kills it, but, you know, I'm not going to try and get all the layers of spikes. But we have a good chance after, like, stealth rock and spike. Um, so, yeah, I want to see the damage for Mammoth Swing. Because I know I couldn't really choose a hidden power I want to go for. I kind of might switch it to water, to be honest. Because that hits our Manitan. I have coverage for these two already. The only thing I don't have coverage for is Latias, which I still don't with Hidden Power Steel. And water also hits Terrakion. Let's see. So Mammoth Swine. Oh my gosh, I died Earthquake. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a plus one. Oh yeah, that's that's what I calc. At plus one, it has a chance to kill it, which is hilarious. <laughs> um, so yeah, HP Steel does a crazy amount on the switch in, and we're faster. So we could honestly catch him with HP Steel on the switch, and then he switches out again. Um, I want to see, though. Hidden Power Water. What you got? Hidden Power Water should do the same amount, to be honest. Um, but then... Yo, witnessing of the team building. <laughs> yeah, Thunderbolt does more. There's not really any point in Ryan HP water. Because it does the same amount. And it'll do the same amount to Terrakion as well. Um, and Crustle, yeah. So it, HP still is better. Um, Deancey is a fun one. This is especially defensive Deancey, so... Let's see. I'm excited to use Hidden Power Steel. <laughs> I love throwing random Hidden Powers on my Netric because it's so strong special uh, with a special attack that actually works. Yeah, so see, this is specially defensive. Like, damn. And it'll two-hit two KO him. And say he decides to bring a physically defensive maybe for, like, my Rhydon or something. Like, damn so much damage it's beautiful and then we add up like spike stealth rocks it can potentially one shot him 25 percent chance that's not bad um yeah the main reason i wanted to bring so many hazards was just because he doesn't really have hazard removal um other than latius and i'll definitely be sure to like pressure that thing you know um like if he brings out latius and it looks like I'm gonna switch, I could just be like, no, I'm gonna attack him instead of giving him a turn to defog, you know? Um, so I'm gonna try and keep that in mind as well. Um, he does have, I guess, defogger and Pidgeot, but if he does that, then he loses out on like a move slot. Um, so it's kind of like, I don't think he has a very reliable defogger. And uh, that's another thing I wanted to point out. I don't know if I already said this. Um, he does have potential uh, rocks, spikes, and toxic spikes so he could hazard stack me back um i'm gonna try and play it a bit on the offensive side this game if i can help it i don't even know what that means it's just the thing i can say <laughs> um but i made like a list of his offensive pokemon and his offensive pokemon are fairly weak to my pokemon i think um so i think what that means is that i could play more offensive since he does have a very defensive team because the way I see it he can either bring a bunch of offense and not very much defense or he can bring a bunch of defense and not very much offense and then if that's the case I just had to keep track of what's what and make sure I save what I need to while like going crazy with everything else um Kyrie will definitely put in a lot of work um I'll have to be careful about Darmanitan that's probably the only thing I'm extremely worried about um Bisharp can become a threat. He has a lot of like potential setup Pokemon, so that is scary. But I don't know. I'm I'm excited for this battle. I am not necessarily thinking I'm going to win, but I am ready to have a lot of fun with it. It's it's gonna be chill. It's gonna be pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of people that I've been waiting to battle throughout the league. Um, the Green Bay Pika Blues are one of them, just like the Los Angeles Lando Russes were. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's that's pretty much the team right there. Let me know what you think about it. Um, I'm sorry that I haven't been able to do the team build videos like super consistently like that. 
Um, it, yeah, so for future reference, it more so just depends on when we record the actual battle. Uh, so keep that in mind. If there's not a team builder, it's probably because we didn't record the battle till like Friday or Saturday when it was supposed to go up. Uh, and that's just a scheduling thing between me and whoever I'm battling. It's not anyone's fault. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Show that support in the comments down below. What you think of the team, what you think of our opponent's team who we're going to go up against. And the Green Bay Pikachus and all their information will be down in the description. Be sure to check them out as well. So until then, I'm New Age Steel. Keep on watching Hello Valley Agrons this Saturday. It's going down. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Later.